we're going, guys. Mick here from Knockout Tell. Back another kick ass beer review. So, you would have seen the intro. So, the hop yard as it is at this moment. And um, the plan is to do uh, two beers, Harvest Ales. Uh, we'll just sort of switch up um, the additions of those fresh hops, wet hops, and um, maybe just two different. Um, bittering additions uh, across the two recipes uh, so that's the plan for those that's coming up in March as you would have seen um, with the header um, on the channel there going into March we have um, two beers planned for then we have another beer planned for um, for our uh, Belgian strong ale golden ale and um, those two beers in particular I'm looking forward to to creating um, brewing and getting into kegs um, but right at the end of that intro video you would have seen a little sneaky peek of a particular beer sitting at the bottom of the binds and that was the 2020 uh, March in 2020 I done an extra batch of um, this particular beer done an extra batch of uh, two other beers as well and that beer is the version four of the rough nut double chocolate imperial coconut stout um, and that's what we have here uh, it is held up really well uh, in color uh, carbonation uh, what we've done over that course of time is not much really we got into the keg we set it at 10 psi we allowed it to sit and we set it at around about 16 18 degrees uh, got into the keyser about 12 days ago um, and to chill it down and we uh, noticed that we lost around about um, around about 4 psi so it was down to 6 uh, once we chilled it we lost a further 2 psi going off the gauge uh, which brought us down to 4 uh, once we got it uh, completely chilled um, just turned the gas on a little bit longer, got it back up to a, a six um, psi serving temperature. Oh, sorry, serving pressure, um, temperature of around about uh, six degrees, and uh, sort of let it run its course from there. On and off, a little bit of purging, a little bit of uh, fresh uh, CO two in there. Um, played around with a little bit more, uh, got it to sit at a constant 6 psi, which is really good. And um, so here we are, we have it, um, the, the appearance as you can see is really quite good. Um, a quick pour off on the initial, uh, once we sort of got everything set to the right pressures and temperatures and, and um, all the goodness that we need for this particular beer. Um, quick pour off to have a look at the colour and, uh, and test the aroma haven't tried this beer uh, up until now uh, so um, the aroma we we are getting a lot more sort of fresher uh, more more of those um, fresher type aromas uh, the, the mocha sort of coffee roast coming across a little bit of coconut so from the initial um, placement in the keg uh, we feel we've lost some of that aroma on the coconut um, quite possibly lost a fair bit um, judging by um, judging by the aroma so yeah it's still there like is is that roast um, sweet sort of um, coffee shot sort of aroma coming off it that little bit of coconut there like I mentioned um, but um, yes, it's, it's bloody perfect um, to, to smell, perfect to look at. Um, yeah, like I said, I think I've, I've, I'm probably going to lose some of that aroma from the coconut. So here goes for the taste. Just get it over the palate. And go in with another one. Straight up, my initial my initial thought is I'm not sure whether it was a good idea to probably go that long. So two years, uh, almost two years, we're, we're looking at um, you know another 21 days. This would have been in the keg for two years. Um, I'm liking what I'm smelling and what I'm seeing. 
the, the flavour. Coconut's still there, uh, but it's more sort of booziness directly straight up. A little bit of grittiness, um, and when I say grittiness, I mean like a um, right, sort of intense roast. It doesn't last very long across the palate. It's definitely there, but it sort of dies off, and then you get those other flavours coming through. So you're getting the chocolate, you're getting the um, the creaminess and, and, the, and the coconut, um, but not in the right order. So um, perceived, quite possibly, um, will the taste next time round be a different perception of what I'm experiencing? Who knows? Might just need uh, a little bit longer to sort of settle down and um, mellow into its um, into its finish temperature. I don't know. Um, it's not something that I've done before in kegs. I've most certainly done it in bottles, just, just not in kegs. Uh, but what I'm tasting, I'm, I'm still liking. Um, don't think it's a beer that, um, unless it's going into a barrel, uh, is really going to age that well um, in a keg. Um, maybe it needed to be kept at its constant PSI that it was initially at. Too many variables there to even um, try and think about. But I'm glad. I'm, I'm really glad I've done it. And the plan was to go a little bit longer. There was not meant to be any sort of more videos going until until our next two beers, which is the um, the Harvest Ale and the... And the um, uh, Boosty Fruit um, New England IPA, which is a, a clone of a, a well-known beer. Looking forward to doing those two beers coming in March. Um, looking forward to the two other kegs here we've had stored for for nearly two years themselves. Uh, one's probably three months off being two years old. Um, the other one's probably um, closer to two months being off three years old. So cheers uh once again um thanks for tuning in like remember like share subscribe go and check out all the um, social media platforms you know where to find hop card too i don't have to keep telling people facebook instagram youtube hop card up hop card tell ambassadors uh, and be sure remember go over check out subscribe to uk wizards card detailing as well uh, also found on YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and all those other good-known, well-known uh, social media platforms. Cheers.